I just had some good udon teriyaki noodles with seaweed and it was really good and I want to make more but I know as soon as I start making it I'm not gonna eat it but hi um I'm recovering from something that I just went through for the past week of my life it wasn't crazy but like I wouldn't do it again even though there's a chance that it could happen again but I'm like still slightly recovering so I'm I'm a little weak even setting up for this took a lot of my energy and so yeah but today we are here for an updated video and you're like updated video what are you updating let's not include that in the video let's not let's not use that but today i'm gonna show you guys Today, I'm here to show you guys an updated version of my Demonia's haul. So we're gonna go in order of the ones that I purchased first and then last. I was gonna put it in order of favorites, but I can't choose. I think this is all the new ones that I got. We were about to buy two more new pairs, but we only bought one because I already have a version of one of the ones that I wanted to buy. So the first pair of the Ranger 301s. So these, ooh, these are the first shoes here that we're gonna talk about. I mainly love the way that they look on the front. Did I talk about these shoes? No, I don't think I did. I love the way that these shoes look like. Are they categorized as combat boots? I don't know, but then like they have a funky heel to them. And that was mainly the reason why I bought it because of the funky heel. I have yet to wear them because I don't really know how to style them with like what I have. Because when I'm trying on my skirts coming up with new outfits, I end up putting on one of the other shoes that I just recently bought and I'm like, wow, I like this. So then I don't even think about these. And if I continue to do that, then I'm going to eventually sell them. But I don't want to sell them because I still like them. And I was also thinking about getting the taller versions. I'm still considering giving up the Shaker 65s just because I bought a different pair of shoe that I wear more than those. But yeah, these. I tried them on. They're super comfortable. I mean, obviously, because looking at them, they're not like, it's not like your foot is on a huge, you know, like it's not doing that it's just going like this but i haven't worn them for long amounts of time to say if they were comfortable for like a day's wear give me some ideas on how to style this the next pair which i have worn so much i don't know why i just find it easy to style these these are the trashful 518 but i love these these go with like every outfit just like how the damn 318 go with almost every outfit I wear. You will not ever see me giving these up. And they're pretty comfortable too. I've worn them to Ikea, which was a long day's trip. And they were pretty comfortable. The only thing about them is that they fit a little bit weirdly. So I got a size seven, but they still have like tons of space in the front. I think that's just mainly because the foot area goes up higher. So like I have more room to go up than I do forward. That does affect the wear a little bit. It makes it crinkle back here a little bit because I have so much movement for room movement for room i have so much room for movement <laughs> these are a must-have for me there's only thing about demonias too like this you don't know if it's gonna fit you or not depending on your calf size that's something that sucks about them but they do have a range of sizes these next shoes which i love so much but i purchased the shaker 72s here the ones with the laces my voice is going out <laughs> so easy for my voice to just go away but i love these so much i wear them all the time as a fancy shoe as an everyday shoe you name it i'm wearing it these were a replacement for those because i find these way cuter not that the shaker 65s aren't cute but like these i don't know i could just i think it's because of the way that they fit around the ankle these are a tighter fit than the shaker 65s are those are looser on my calf like i said calf fitting is weird with demonia shoes but because i don't love it when like a boot wrinkles around the ankle and like it shuffles around a lot i prefer ones that are like tight fitting on the leg so that's why i wear these a lot and that's why i'm thinking about getting rid of the shaker 65 look for those on my depop anytime like could be a year from now could be tomorrow i think i've shown you guys a styling with these but i have a new style with them which i showed you guys that style as well but just not with the shoes on. Anyways, Shaker 72s, my babies. This next shoe is another shoe that I'm excited for, but let's face it, I'm excited for 
all the shoes I purchased. But these next shoes, these were like a shoe that I was thinking about for a long time. Just cause it's like a, it's like, that's crazy. It's not, this doesn't, this doesn't count as an everyday shoe for me, but I really want to make it an everyday shoe. But the next shoe is the stack. 301s here the matte vegan leather ones not the glossy ones i was thinking about getting the glossy ones but then i was like nah i'm not ready for a glossy shoe yet but i love these i've only worn them once to a party and they're surprisingly comfortable but i couldn't stand for too long just because i was nervous that i was gonna break my ankle these things i think they're seven inches i measured them so we became like 5'11 when we wore these and i love them i really want to try making these an everyday shoe but the thing is i can't drive in these you're really not supposed to drive in your platforms anyways i watched a whole video on how to care for your demonias you're not supposed to do deep bends you're supposed to bend with your knees you're not supposed to drive with them you're not supposed to take them off you're supposed to you know make sure the zipper is all the way down because you can mess up the zipper when you take them off make sure you like untie them if they happen to have a tie on them it was a whole thing but i really want these to be an everyday like I love them that much and they look so nice on my legs, you know? And just like look at them. They're beautiful. How could you not love these? How do I make these an everyday shoe? I don't know. I think it's just about my confidence with these shoes. These next shoes are a brand new baby. Just out the box yesterday. Not even worn, still wrapped in their plastic. Ordered them like a week ago, maybe plus. But I wanted these for some time, but they kept selling out. So I always checked once a week if they were gonna be back in stock. And then I signed up for like the email notifications to see when you they get back in stock. I signed up for the text message notification and everything. And then finally, two weeks ago, before I left to go where I was going, I finally saw that they were in stock and i asked my mom if i should get them and she was like i don't care so i got them but they are the bear 104s look at them oh my gosh my first pair of glossy shoes by the way i love them like literally the inspiration to buy them was uh i forgot her instagram name but her real name is vivi but she inspired me to get these because I saw her style them and I was like, I like those. What are those? And then I, you know, went on the website, searched it up, saw that they were sold out, and I was like, dang. And I can't wait to wear them because I only just got them yesterday. They're beautiful. I showed my mom them on FaceTime and she was like, okay. I didn't show them to my dad yet because I don't know where he was when I opened them. I don't remember. But I love them. And I love that my parents love that I love stuff like this. <laughs> I can't wait to wear them. They're so beautiful and magnificent looking and just different but i can't wait to wear these like i'm so excited to style these and i love how different they are and i love this like matte wedge heel thing in the middle and i love all the buttons i mean not the buttons the grommets the mini grommet belts i don't know how i'm gonna style them yet but like they could probably fit with like almost everything that i wear i love the money shoes we still have like four more that we want on our list and i think right now i have Right now, I have 11 pairs of Demonia shoes. It's looking like it's gonna be 13 maybe, if the bears that I want ever go back in stock. But yeah, these are one of my favorites. I only had them on for like five minutes though, but they were pretty comfortable, pretty easy to walk in. And like I say to like all of my Demonias, I want them to become more of a everyday shoe for me just because the people that I follow on social media, they wear like all of them as regular shoes. There's a girl on Instagram that I follow. Is it My Heart's Sweet or My Heart's Wet? I forgot, but I'll put her name somewhere up on the screen. But she wears the stacks all the time. And I'm like, that's crazy that you wear those every day. She was literally at the beach wearing them. She stepped onto the sand and was like on the rocks. And she was wearing those humongous shoes. And I'm like, that's crazy. But yes, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get inspired to buy some demonias yourself, maybe. And if you can't afford demonias, don't worry. You don't need demonias to add some swag to your outfits. I was just watching old 2013 Yoongi videos not too long ago. But yeah, you don't need these chunks, chunky shoes just to boost an outfit up. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, like, yeah. See you next time. Peace out. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.